What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'll show you a best class setup for the Krig 6. There's a lot of different ways that you can run this. Personally, I've been really uh, getting into running gunfighter on a lot of these guns. I've become a big fan of gunfighter. I know a lot of people don't like this because you cannot run Ghost and Ninja here on Perk 3. Right now, the way the game is, of course, it's not been out that long. Everybody is running UAV, so I prefer to run Ghost in this Perk 3. This could change later. When the game's been out for a while, not as many people are running UAVs. You might could swap this over to Ninja. Uh, you always could go with, uh, you know, Lawbreaker, which is also not a bad class. You know, with Lawbreaker, you can set up as many perks as you want out of one slot. So if you want to run, run three perk threes, you could do that. But personally, Gunfighter or Perk Greed are my favorites. So let's go ahead and hop into the rest of the class. Of course, I'm running Forward Intel, Scavenger, and of course, Ghost, Stem Shot, Simtex. And I've been messing around with the Jammer as of late. The Jammer and the Field Mic are really my two favorite field upgrades. This jammer is very good if you can get around a area, middle of the map, or high traffic area, uh, around the enemy spawn. You can really do some damage with this jammer because a lot of people get confused with this thing on the ground. And sometimes they're kind of hard to find. And when it comes to the Krig class itself, I've been running the Microflex LED. I'm not a big fan of this side, or I was not to begin with. It's starting to grow on me a little. I'm starting to enjoy it a bit more. But I've also kind of been swapping back and forth between it and the mill stop, also the Cobra. That's probably my third pick. So those three, any of those three are really, really good. There's some really nice red dots here. I'm not a big fan of the Hawks more. Some people like it or the quick LED or the quick dot LED. But there's a lot of good options here. So, you know, you can kind of have a choice of what exactly or what kind of site you exactly want to be running on your weapon. When it comes to the muzzle, I've been running the SOCOM Eliminator, which is the muzzle flash concealment and 17% vertical recoil control. This is going to be that first attachment on this gun that's really going to turn it into a laser at long ranges. Now, this gun's not a fast killing weapon, but it is going to be extremely accurate. And if you're hitting all your shots, you're still going to be able to beat most people in most gunfights. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, of course, this SOCOM Eliminator barrel does have shooting movement speed and horizontal recoil control cons. Two other things you can run here if you do not have this unlocked, of course, is the infantry compensator or just the muzzle brake. The muzzle brake has no cons whatsoever. The infantry compensator, uh, in infantry compensator, I'll get it out here in just a second, has uh, a kind of horizontal recoil control. So any of those three are very good choices. I've been kind of bouncing back and forth between these as I've unlocked them, but I think I finally settled on the SOCOM Eliminator to be one that I really enjoy using. Uh, now when it comes to the barrel, I prefer to run bullet velocity. Some people will run the takedown barrel, which is effective damage range. This gun uh, in particular does not have a bullet velocity and effective damage range barrel. You know, some of these will have a smaller percentage uh, bullet velocity and a smaller percentage effective damage range, and there's a choice you can run that. This gun sadly does not have that. So I've decided to stick with bullet velocity because the bullet velocity in this game, like we've talked about in other videos, is a lot lower than it has been, or a lot slower than it has been in other games or other past COD games. And so it makes it seem like you're just not getting hit markers or getting tons of hit markers. And in my opinion, in bullet velocity barrels, you can tell a big difference when you shoot people die. So that's just something you want to keep in mind. But if you want to run a silencer, a lot of people prefer to go with effective damage range. And you could set this class up with a silencer if you do prefer that. I'm just not a big fan of silencers in Treyarch games. I'll use them here and there, but something about it, it just always seems like they're very, uh, it turns them into BB guns is kind of my opinion. Now, when it comes to the body, I have been running the SOF target designator. Of course, it's going to give you 60% reveal distance on ADS. You also could just go with the mounted flashlight. These two are really good, in my opinion, on things like people hiding in the dunes on satellite, uh, cartel in the bushes, uh, of course, Miami at night, some of these people hiding at long distances. These will pop up names in insane distances, and you can get the drop on a lot of people that do not see you. So if you're running on a map like that, you want to go with something like a target designator. I really have been enjoying using these. If you're just running and gunning, I would say go with a steady aim laser. That way you don't have any cons. Uh, of course, you look at the rest of these, you know, down here, they all have cons. So this is the regular steady aim laser. It's going to give you a bit of hip fire accuracy, which this gun does not have a lot of, as you'll see here in just a second. I've been using the field agent grip, which is horizontal and vertical recoil control. Of course, paired with that muzzle we had earlier. As you can see, we have a lot of recoil control on this gun, and that's why I said it makes it pretty much a laser. You're not going to be able to, you're not going to miss many shots. You're going to be able to keep this on target at all times, at all ranges. The one con to the field agent grip is that shooting move speed. That is one thing that I really do not like. 
you cannot really strafe a lot if you use this uh, this grip. It's just you're just kind of screwed in that department. So that's going to be the choice you have to make. Do you want to run something where you have a lot more recoil control but less shooting movement speed, or would you rather just throw on the normal foregrip that just has regular horizontal recoil control and no cons? There is one other choice here that a lot of people I don't see using have been experimenting with it a lot on different guns, and that is the infiltrator grip. This is going to give you 5% movement speed, 5% shooting move speed, and 5% aim walking move speed. So in my opinion personally, if you can control recoil, this is a very good choice. If you have a little bit of trouble controlling recoil, uh, foregrip is also good. And if you want to make the gun an absolute laser, just go with the field agent grip. But you have several choices here of things you can do depending on your play style. Uh, the next thing, of course, is going to be the magazine. I've been running the normal 40 round mag. The sta standard 50 round is very good as well. I really want to try out this standard uh, or this 50 round fast mag. You can kind of go with anything you want here. Uh, of course, the 40 round just gives you reload quickness con. The standard 50 round mag is going to give you reload quickness and aim down sight, which is not really a big deal because the great thing about Gunfighter is whatever cons come up, for the most, uh, for, kind of for the most part, you can make up with other attachments. You can fix that. So let's just say you do run this 50 round mag, which is perfectly fine. You can go down here and make up that 10 or 15 percent aim down sight time with the Serpent Wrap, which gives you 25 percent aim down sight time. Uh, you also could go with the airborne. I don't have it unlocked yet. I have used this on other weapons. It is pretty good, but you do get that shooting movement speed con again, which is going to stack with the other one we already have, which does make the gun a little bit sluggish in my opinion. So you're going to kind of have to choose between this, uh, and the grip when, you know, you're, you're trying to pick this class because you don't want that much shooting movement speed, uh, kind of deductions. But of course, like I said, you can just go with the serpent wrap, which is going to give you sprint to fire time, which we can make up with the next attachment. You also could just go with the speed tape, which is just aim down sight with no cons. So once again, you have several choices here. These class setups, guys, of course, are always things that, you know, the kind of a template. These are things that work for me, but I've been trying a lot of this stuff out, trying to give you some different ideas. You don't have to run the exact same setup that I do. Uh, you can just try to try out some different attachments here and kind of, like I said, fit these attachments to kind of go along with the play style that you use. So if you use something like this, the Serpent Wrap, which gives you sprint to fire time con, you can make up for that with the no stock attachment, which gives you 30% sprint to fire. Of course, the con is hip fire accuracy. Hip fire is kind of crap in the game anyway with ARs, so I'm not really disappointed with the hip fire accuracy loss. I'm really wanting the Raider stock, uh, but I don't have it unlocked yet. Of course, that's sprint to fire and aim walking movement speed. So those two will kind of give us a little bit of movement speed back. Uh, of course, we're not getting shooting movement speed, but at least we're getting aim walking movement speed back. So when I unlock this Raider stock, this is what I'll be going with. The no stock attachment is very good and also the wire stock attachment. So you have three good options here as well. There's usually something you can run kind of at the start, something kind of about midway through ranking up the gun, and then usually something at the end that's pretty decent. So keep that in mind. There's several ways you can build this. You also can drop a lot of these attachments off and go with five, uh, five attachments. If you were going to do that, I would say probably drop the magazine, the body. Uh, you're definitely going to have to keep the optic because this gun has horrible iron sights. If it did not have such bad iron sights, you could always drop the optic, but it's kind of hard not to use an optic with this weapon. But there's definitely some ways that you can get out of having to, uh, you know, run gunfighter. You can run perk read. You can run law, uh, lawbreaker. I would probably recommend, like I said, the body, probably the magazine, and, you know, something like the stock. I mean, there's just, there's two or three things you could drop here. Uh, maybe even four. You can change a few things up, and you can get a good class with five attachments. Personally, if I'm gonna, if I run five attachments, this is usually how I usually do it. Uh, it's something like this right here. Uh, it is a bit slower class. Just keep that in mind. You don't have that as fast, you know, ADS time and things like that with the handle gone. You don't have the biggest mag. You don't have a bigger magazine. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see people at range. But this is still not a bad class setup. This thing is still very, very steady with this SOCOM eliminator and the field agent grip, you're just going to be pretty slow when you're moving around trying to shoot. So keep that in mind. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Do you really like the Krig? Is it a gun you've been using lately? In my opinion, with all the uh, nerfs and things as of late, the Krig is kind of slipping up to the top of the AR list. It may not be the fastest killing gun, but it is definitely one of the more accurate. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the community Discord, and of course my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.